Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? I think sometimes we uh, we focus on some of the stuff with blockchain. We look at the uh, more of the smaller issues, and we focus on wallets, and we focus on price, and we focus on uh, so many of the minor issues. But we kind of forget how big blockchain is, and how big a company, and how much a company like EOS is going to affect blockchain, and how important blockchain is, and what blockchain does. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to talk about like a real world situation. A uh, situation that I'm familiar with, so I'll just give you the scenario, I'll give you the fact pattern. Uh, the fact pattern, or I'll give you uh, the case, the fact pattern, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's say you're a United States, U.S. Uh, toy seller. You sell toys, and you sell toys on the internet. So the most important time of the year for you to sell toys is right around Christmas. So uh, you're selling toys on uh, right around Christmas. You pre-sell all the toys. So people go online, they buy the product, and they expect a delivery by Christmas. And then you have to deliver by Christmas. So you got to give it enough time to receive it and then ship it out for Christmas. got to get there before Christmas because after Christmas, nobody wants it because it's a toy and they want it for their kids. So at the same time, you're trying to get the manufacturer, the place, the country, or let's just say in this case China, to produce the product, to make the product, and then ship it over to the United States so you can ship it out to your clients or customers before Christmas. But you got to coordinate that all. You got to get China to produce the product. It's got to be on a ship for, I think, seven, eight days, maybe maybe less. I, I don't remember. It's got to get to you, and then you got to ship it up out, out, out to the to, to the to the, the, the you know the the parents for Christmas morning, so it can be under the tree. So. Let's say you are not a big retailer, you're a small retailer, and you really don't have the kind of clout it takes to get you know, everything done really quickly because obviously the Walmarts of the world and the other big you know, retailers are gonna get, they're gonna get the space on the ship, not you. So let's say your shipment misses Christmas and now you're, you've got hundreds, maybe thousands of parents wanting a Christmas Day gift and you didn't get it to them because you didn't get it from China quick enough because it got stuck in the ocean or it got stuck in the in the in the in the, in the shipping, you know, on, on in the bay with the shipping and you, you know your product got shoved to the back of the line because you're not Walmart. Walmart has to get their stuff first because they're the big clients. That's the kind of stuff people have dealt with for a long period of time. And that's the kind of things a blockchain can solve and fix. Um, there's there's this uh, everybody knows about the barcode. The global identification number, a global transaction identification number, GTIN. If you ever done anything on Amazon, you're pretty familiar with the GTIN, the global transaction identification number, which is the barcode and it's scanned. In the case or the fact pattern I just gave, let's say that every step of the way from the product manufacturing in China to the delivery to the docks to the shipping to the United States. To the, from the United States to wherever it is you're located, you get a you get an update from that GTIN, that scan. You know exactly where it's at. You know exactly how much longer it's going to take to get to you, and you know exactly how much time you've got to ship it out to your uh, to the parents of the children waiting for Christmas Day. So all that can be all that can be on put on the blockchain. All that can be all that information can be on the blockchain, and you can see it. You can see it. It's it's transparent. It's uh, it's it's a ledger. Uh, it's trusted. It's a third party, and you can watch how your product is being um, advanced in the supply chain. That's very 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 important. The problem with what how that works today is that it's very limited because there's only a certain amount of information can be recorded. You have to trust the third party where it's recorded. And the other thing about it is. It's a lot of transactions. It's literally billions of times a day these barcodes are used. They're scanned every day, every day, every day, billions and billions of times. So there's really no way that anybody can measure or re record all that information. It's, it's just so vast and so incredibly, uh, you know, it's, it's just an amazing amount of information. Incredible. This thing, if you could put all this information on the, blo on the blockchain, all this GTIN, Global transaction uh, identification numbers on, tra on on the blockchain, and measure every step of the supply chain of how it produces, where it produces at, where it's at in the supply chain, how 
fast it will arrive to the United States or whatever country it's going to, country origin. All this can be done on the, on the, on the blockchain. All this can be someplace where it's, anybody can see it and see where it's at and trust it. That's the main thing, being able to trust the party that's putting up the information on the blockchain. This is what's going to happen in the future. And this is why I'm so excited about a company like EOS. Because what's keeping this from actually working so that every one of these transactions is recorded is scalability. It's the transactions per second. It's the ability to put vast amounts of information on the internet. If you can do that, if you can record all that information and have it all be able to see on the internet, it would be invaluable to anybody that's in the supply chain, anybody that's working on the supply chain, anybody that's getting in from our uh, products from one area or one part of the world or any place, even in the United States, even in a state, and moving it someplace else, to be able to record that on some ledger that's that's online that, that you can trust and that you can see and that anybody can see, everybody can see it. Everybody that's in that, um, that has an interest in that in that uh, in that shipment or in that product can see it. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about tra uh, uh, blockchain. We're talking about literally um, putting everything, every GTIN on the internet. Every GTIN can be seen and tracked and located, and 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 everything can be down to a a very fine fine timeline. This is very important, and this is what a real world situation of how this is going to work. And the only thing stopping it, and what this is what EOS does, it solves the problem of scalability. It makes scalability not the issue anymore. You can do all this, you can record all this. All you need is, is a platform that can do this quickly and 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 do it very quickly, very quickly with the way the way blockchain is right now, it's very slow. You know, transactions per second are very limited. So it, the blockchain doesn't really work for this kind of a real world uh, information center. But once EOS is up and running, once the blockchain, EOS's blockchain is up and running, and you have all the blocks and you have all this going on, and the scale of the transactions are in the millions per second, this will all take place. And this is why I'm so excited about this. And this is why I think that EOS has got so much potential. The ability to record every, uh, literally every supply side transaction in the, in the world can take place on a, a platform like EOS. So anytime you see the short term, the very limited time frame you look at EOS and you see some of the things that we talk about, uh, you know, whatever, the price, um, some of the other things going on, you know, the launch, um, uh, the, the block, the block produces all this stuff. You know, it's when you look at the big picture, when you got the big picture, the big picture is how big this is going to be. The big picture is literally putting every transaction on the internet. You start to understand that all this stuff will work itself out. All these minor details, all this background stuff will get cleared up and this thing will start to do what we envisioned it to do, which is take over the incredible amounts of information, the vast amounts of information that we all rely on a daily basis. If you're a business owner, if you work at a business, if the business is your livelihood, you need this information. And you want to have access to the information. You want to have access to the information you can trust. Like I said, if you're a, uh, uh, a seller of retail uh, uh, Christmas gifts, you got to know that that stuff's going to arrive at Christmas morning to your to your customer, or you're not going to get your money, or you're going to end up eating that 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 amount of money. And if you you do that too long, you go out of business. So this will make your business more efficient, more reliable, and will make it easier for people to stay in business and prosper at business. So this is why I say this prospers people. This whole thing prospers people. The whole idea of blockchain not only prospers people, and I'm gonna make a video about this real soon, is about how I believe it's gonna solve a lot of poverty issues in the world, that the blockchain, and I was gonna do that tonight, but I decided to do this video instead. So supply side, um, you know, moving supplies on the supply side chain. Very, very important. All needs to be recorded and put on the blockchain. And this will be something that will, you know, incredibly change business. And like I said, I think the bigger issue here is that it will solve a lot of world poverty. It'll improve people's lives, standard of lives, improve people's living. So we have to keep a mind of the big picture going on here. So if you're involved with EOS, think about the big picture. Think about putting every GTI in on the internet and how much how much how valuable it's going to be to, to business how valuable that's going to be to uh, to everybody that uh, livelihood depends on business and the move, movement of goods and supplies around the world 
and the, the ability to trust that movement of supplies and goods and the ability to uh, trust a third party or trust uh, someplace on the internet where you can get that information. You can get it for free and you can also get it very trusted. And it's, it's, it's a, very trusted because of the fact you'll be, you'll be watching every single transaction Every time that bar, that, that GTIN is scanned, you'll know it, recorded on the blockchain. You'll be able to see it. It's transparent. Everybody will be able to see it. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. You know, and somebody that's about dealt with the real world problems like the one I just, I just explained, you know, you know, you understand how the world will change very quickly you know, in, a, in a world where everything can be recorded on the internet on a block, on a blockchain. So anyway, very important stuff, very valuable. And like I say, it changes the world, changes everything about business. And that's what that's that's really the big picture here. This is what this is all about. So anyway, and I'm going to make a video here very soon about the, uh, the how I think it's going to change wor the world as far as uh, as far as economic uh, stuff is concerned. So anyway. OK, drop a camera, but that's OK. We'll finish up later. Thanks. Bye.